you know, the bottom line is, is that we are a species on the surface of a planet that thrives in visible light. Of the entire electromagnetic mm. spectrum, it's Roy G. Biv, which is Roy where we're living. And so all of the species and animals on the surface of the planet that have survived have survived through millions of years of evolution of that light shining onto their cells. So in our deepest genetic code, we are sensitive to light. So if you can shine the right wavelength of light, All right, guys, Dr. Sinekropi back. We are at the Society for, for Brain Mapping, which I'll tell you, we were just talking about this with my good friend, Dr. Scott Sigmund, AKA The Fro. <laughs> you know, people were actually texting me. Yeah. I got two texts. Yeah. I don't know who they're from yeah. because there's no, there's no name. Yep. I don't even know if they know me. They texted me. They said, make sure you say hi to the fro. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know who they are. I was, I'm afraid to text them back. I'm like, is this, was this you? Did you put up? This? No, no. no okay. look, you got, man, they follow the fro, bro. They Come found on. the fro, man. They follow the fro, follow the fro. So Dr. It. Scott Sigmund, for those of you that don't know, because we did the Home and Away podcast already. And those were both, like, those were some of the most fun, awesome. you know, episodes that, that, that we did. We should, we got to rerun those things, but... Um, for those of you who don't know who Dr. Scott Sigmund is, um, he is the evangelist for laser therapy. He is the founder of Ortho Laser, and he's so much more. Not to mention, he's a renowned orthopedic surgeon. Isn't it funny? Once you start getting known as like the light guy, it's like, am I? You know, it's like, am I an ortho surgeon? Am I the light? It's just. But, well, but my, my wife's like, all right, what meeting are you going to? The <laughs> Society for Brain Mapping. Well, She's you, like, what? Are, what are you doing there as an orthopedic no. surgeon for brain mapping? Well, I dragged you. I, I, no, I, I dragged course, you over here, and I and I and I appreciate you. Uh, you and I appreciate you coming, and and I know you were kind of blown away because you just there was another photobiomodulation talk. Yeah, that Dr. You were Henderson talking. just gave an amazing talk on long COVID, and it was you know really interesting because he's using laser directly to the brain, and then I'm raising my hand and I'm saying, Dr. Henderson, you know, go over the antecubital vein and artery because then you can literally get the entire blood uh, stream activated with laser, which then goes to the brain, it goes to the lungs, it goes to you know everywhere where there can potentially be some long COVID symptoms. So we had a nice conversation there. It's, it's awesome. Did nice. he tell you did he tell you his his cuff experiment? Oh yeah. He shared the cuff experiment and then he also talked okay. about yeah. nosocomial uh, not the taste and, oh, yeah. and the smell. There's a randomized controlled trial out of yeah. Brazil that was shown at PBM in twenty twenty four for London, which showed amazing results. So not surprising that he's seen good results. I literally no, no joke. I was at a gala two weeks ago. For, I've met them before, but I didn't know that they were coming to our clinics to, to have light therapy. And this, this woman, she comes up to me and gives me a big hug. And I said, oh, okay. And she's like, thank you. I got my smell back. Yeah. She's like, I hadn't been able yeah. to smell for a long time. She's like, your clinic, you, you, you guys saved us. And, and the power of light, it, it's, it's just, it's hard to describe. I went from a complete non-believer to I can't stop talking about this stuff because it's such a simple solution for so many, you know, so many problems. And we've talked about this, you know, ad nauseum. And it's conferences like like this that allow us to try to get this the the word out that this stuff is 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 real. So do you want to tell them your analogy that I still I'm, I and I I always credit you. I said this is my good friend Scott Sigmund. Yeah. I said it. I said it yesterday. The, the, your thing about photosynthesis. Yeah. People are like, "That's brilliant." And I said, "It's not me. It's not me. It's, it's my good friend, Dr. Segman. Tell, tell them how you get in those in those dinner. In, you know, like in those cocktail parties where we're telling our buddies about light, and they're like, "Man, are you you know, are you are you too close to the anesthesia machine, like kind of thing." You're, yeah. You're, you know. So, so, do you believe in photosynthesis? The first question I always ask, and everybody raises their hand, like, "Yeah, of course I believe in photosynthesis. The light shines down." Down, the plants grow, carbon dioxide goes away, oxygen comes out, we eat the plants and other species, you know, uh, um, have sustenance and they get uh, as well. So, you know, the bottom line is, is that we are a species on the surface of a planet that thrives in visible light of the entire electromagnetic mm -hmm. spectrum. It's Roy G. Biv, which is Roy where G. we're living. And so 
all of the species and animals on the surface of the planet that have survived have survived through millions of years of evolution of that light shining onto their cells. So in our deepest genetic code, we are sensitive to light. So if you can shine the right wavelength of light. And the other point uh, that I think is super important, which you know, we get the snake oil salesman thing, you know, what are you, you're telling me that this thing works for every disease there is, right? And I say, we don't treat diseases. With light therapy, what we're doing yes. is we're treating cellular metabolism. The cells are not functioning correctly. By, sh by sending in this energy, they turn on, they get activated, and we get into this anti-inflammatory process. Now those cells could be in your brain, they could be in your hip joint, they could be in your facet joint in your neck. All of those cells are inflamed, and by using the correct wavelength of light, we create a, a curative effect, a healing effect. You know, one of the other things I, I like it, to talk about. Well, well said. Is the saber-toothed tiger bite, right? So, you know, we were in a cave, right? You know, hundreds of thousands of years ago, saber-toothed tiger comes up and bites us in the mm -hmm. leg. And so we have this shock and awe response mm -hmm. when something like that happens, right? Because we got to survive, right? Mm -hmm. so, so what happens is that we stop the bleeding, epinephrine, yeah. all of these chemically yeah. mediated things so that that yeah. bite doesn't make you lose your leg, right? And then that lasts for about three days. And then after three days, okay, now you've got two paths. You can go into the acute reparative mm -hmm. path or you can go into the chronic inflammatory pathway. And what laser and photobiomodulation does is it takes us down the reparative pathway Correct. by using the laser. And so what is now the modern day uh, saber tooth tiger bite <laughs> is a lumbar spine fusion. It is a knee replacement, huh, right? Hi. And so we then use laser post-operatively. Yeah, because we're creating an injury. We're, yes. to, in order to do our healing as surgeons, you have to create an injury. Yes. You can't put that knee replacement in there no matter how genteel people think they are, you're still creating an injury. Same thing with lumbar fusion. And even with minimally invasive surgery, you're still creating, even the little incisions, but you're still, still creating a trauma. That happens. A trauma. The results post-operatively, like, and, and my partners are finally starting to, so I had a partner come here and, and they really literally are starting to see the light. They're like, this is interesting. So for example, we operate on people that are not always the healthiest, especially in trauma. They're, they're, not, they're not well, so they have surgery or people that are obese or people that are not metabolically, but, but they're deteriorating, so they need surgery, right? If somebody has a foot trap, you're not like, well, we're, not, we're gonna get you metabolically fine. We're gonna let your, you know, your, your nerve die, but, but we're gonna get you healthier, so we're happier you know, after surgery. It's incredible the power of the laser on those tissues post-op for wound healing for pain management, for, you know, for, for, for not, for the wounds not draining, especially in those obese patients, because we get a lot of wound draining. Same thing with those, the, the hip guys. They do these, these big wax on these people that are 375 pounds because they have a hip fracture. Those wounds drain. You know what I've, what experience I've had of draining wounds? We've lasered them a couple sessions, done. Stop. We, we laser every single post-operative patient that agrees to be a part of it because, as I was talking about, it's, it's the cells that are, that are mm. affected, right? So when you do surgery, you, you bang up the nerves, right? You got to cut these nerves as you're going yep. in and creating an issue. So the laser helps to stimulate a healing response right. to the nerves. It brings in the fibroblasts, which are the healing cells of the body, which create a collagen response. And then we have increased blood flow to the area, which brings in, again, yep. a healing response. And we can actually um, assay the exact you know, proteins that are responsible for angiogenesis or blood flow or neurogenesis for the nerve. So th these are well-established facts within the basic science literature. And now we're finally seeing this within the clinical literature as well. We're about ready to embark on a study with ortholaser where we're going to take a look at post-operative uh, results with total knee replacement. We're going to uh, do two active cohorts. One's going to be lasered, one's not. Uh, and we're going to be able to demonstrate. Um, the range know, of motion is going to be much better in the laser. I know, isn't yes. it funny? I, you don't see, here's the deal. I don't mean to cut, I'll go back yeah. to it. The, the thing that's frustrating to me, especially about like the laser therapy, you just gave me a, your study that you're doing and you're about to launch it. But the truth is we both know, we both know 
We know the outcome before you do the study. Yeah. I, I know the outcome. We treat all these post-operative ACLs that now people are starting to refer us because they're range of motion, they're swelling. I just pre presented uh, you know, at, a, at another thing. I mean, you're talking about like the amount of swelling, even after four or five days post-op, if you laser them every single day, they almost look normal. They just have stitches there. You see this, dude? That's my two level. I, I follow the fro on social. <laughs> we, we followed along with his, you know, with his. my surgery. So yeah, I lasered literally every day post -op. Way, what a testament to what we do, spine surgeons, that he, as an orthopedic surgeon, was very comfortable going ahead and, and having his dicks for placements. And I'm sure, and you're doing great, Dude, by the I way. Am, I am seven weeks literally to the day. I have functional range of motion and movement, less pain than I had previously. My neuro symptoms yep. are essentially completely resolved. So, you know, super happy. We just actually were in the midst of, of launching the second phase of our post-operative survey that we use through our ortholaser centers across the country. We have a 96% yep. satisfaction rate from our patients who are undergoing laser treatment post-operatively. Post and I post, and you saw that. I put that on my, I, I, right away I ran and put yes, that on my social media. Did. Yes. Because it's interesting, th those of us that are that are in this field, and now, now so let's think about this again. I know we talked about this on both of our, think about this. You have two orthopedic guys, you, 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 you're very busy practices, and we're not here, I'm not saying, Dr. Sick, oh, you, you know, your results are amazing in shoulders and this and that. That's, we, we get that, we know that we have to be technically good and healthy. We're here talking about how dramatically our results have changed because of this technology. It's, it's just fascinating. I mean, we, we just need the, the, we need just more nodes. We need to start replicating yeah, you know, and, ourselves. And, and then also, I mean, I think that, <laughs> that our patients are the ones that are doing the best talking for us, right? The results that they have, the way that they can share it across. It's a digital world, right? And so even my mother, Judy, at the age of 85, Googles her doctor before she's going to go and, uh, and get seen. So I think that the way in which people are communicating yep. in their success stories with the laser is really awesome. And again, I'm going to second everything you said, the, the success rate. You know, yes, people are skeptical. Even my own patients are skeptical. So uh, we haven't gotten to the point now where, where we're like kind of pre-signing them up yet. It's just more like the people that are having pain and, and we're sending them over. Sometimes I have to convince them to go. I'm like, you, can you just one time, just try it and just see. And then they're, they're, they're pretty blown away with the results. So getting over the skepticism, but word of mouth has been, was, has been absolutely the best thing. Like our athletes, like our athlete population has grown dramatically. Why? Yeah. Because a couple of athletes come in, they get a quick healing, they're back on the court. Next thing you know, that entire basketball team is coming for any injury they have. That is so much more effective than trying to like, for example, go out on Google and tell people about something they've never heard of before. I might as well tell them we're sprinkling herbs on, on, you know, on their injury, right? Because it's the same, you're trying, to, you're trying to educate on something, there's nothing there. All the commercials are sky rizzy and this and that. No, nothing is about light. Yeah, and some, you know, and then it's some- common. It's, it's common, it's common. We're, we're breaking well, through. People, I mean, you're, you're at the forefront of this. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're doing I mean, it's amazing. I mean, my, my talk today is uh, photobiomodulation therapy in mainstream healthcare, right? And so where is it being used other than just in orthopedics? So, you know, for example, for brain injuries, there was a great talk, you know, this morning on brain injury. It can be used for macular degeneration, for vision. Uh, where It's being used in the world for cancer, for, for scar tissue after ENT surgery or for breast surgery. Parkinson's, you know, getting the brain stem, they can actually reduce, you know, some of the symptoms that we're seeing from Parkinson's. So it's really amazing. You know, it's been a long seven years for me, you know, to where we started this conversation and the rotten tomatoes that were thrown at every podium. But, but now the clinical acceptance, the patient acceptance is, is truly growing and we're really excited about the opportunity. Well, I will tell you, thank you for everything you've done because it's because of people like you that even though when I started going down this path, yeah, there were some th tomatoes thrown, and it's usually from our own. Yep. It's usually oh, yeah. from our own. Oh, yeah, your right? partners, your local yeah, They're like, what are you, are you right? doing? I that? get that's it. That's going to look weird. Been, been you know, like, what do you mean? Oh, yep. oh that's, not, that's not what we do. That's like going like, to like water down our brand. I'm like, no, it's good. But, but they're, they, people are coming around you know, big time. But the reason I haven't had as many tomatoes thrown at me are because of people like you that have paved the way Right when you clean all the tomatoes off of yourself, and now you're nice and squeaky clean, and people are like the fro, he's the laser guy. That takes pressure off me. But also, when people ask, I said, you know what? If you don't want to believe me, go look at Dr. Scott Sigmund's TED Talk. 
go look at what he's doing. Go look at what Ortho Laser's doing. And then they're like, oh, other people, not just you, doctor. It's not, it's not just you. And, You're, and I'm the, doing the, nutty, the exact nutty, same thing as well. So yeah. for me, it's very important now that our, our leading physicians and surgeons that are part of the Ortho Laser family now, we have them do a, most of the talking because you know, people, oh, it's just that Sigmund talking again. But no, there are established, well-respected yep. surgeons around the country who have been using the techniques that we've been using to help their patients. And so that just really amplifies the message for us really nicely. Yeah, I mean, I, we, you know, we're, we're obviously excited about these technologies. It's nice. So I'm really hoping that you, we have you here at the Society for Brain Mapping as, as a mainstay because we really want to build this concept of photobiomodulation, and I'm not going to call it alternative treatment. It's not an alternative treatment. It is the main, you know, it is the mainstream treatment, and then build that around other, you know, modalities that people are doing that can work in conjunction. And the nice thing I, I like about this particular, you know, society, and again, so thank you so much. I know your talk is coming up here. He, I, I'm holding him back probably from his talk, so they probably already changed the order. But what, what I was gonna say is that this is such an open and inviting community of neurologists and psychiatrists and, and optometrists and they orthospine seem, they seem guys very and neuros open to So anyway, you know, what I was saying before is I think you're gonna have a very receptive audience you know, in this environment. There's people that are, the, the people come here from all over the world. They just want to soak up. They're like, what don't I know? Right. And that's the mentality that you took when you went down this yeah, path. Yeah. And that's when I finally broke through. And sign, took, I mean, sign, it took me a while. Sign me, me up, for, brother. I'll yeah. be more than happy to contribute in any way I can. You know, and I'm excited because I'm coming up to, in, in your neck of the woods, so I'm giving my TED Talk at at, uh, at the Harvard Square TED Talk in April 26th. I will be there for you. I, I will I, be in the I, audience, I was gonna, I was going to officially invite you it. here and the I thing and I'm it. excited because you inspired me it's fine you know why I'm doing this I saw your TED talk and I said I, I told my people I said why don't I have it I need a TED talk <laughs> of course why you am did. I not doing a TED yeah, talk of course we'll, so we'll be there to support you so it was awesome percent. so I, I applied for this thing it was like the the application was literally longer that one's like longer than my med and, school and application you, for some reason you got it so and, and I got it and I was That's so awesome. excited I was like I really want to talk about the the future of light and laser therapy as mainstream, it's funny. It's almost the title of your talk that I you're know, about to give right now, oh, that's awesome. because that's what we want to do. We want we, there's so many applications. We let, you know we could give a light talk to every specialty, every specialty in medicine. A thousand percent. So anyway, right, this brother. has been awesome. You, can, I got to get Dr. Sigmund off to his talk. So we'll see you guys next time. The fro, follow the fro. Hashtag follow, follow the fro. <laughs> All right, All right brother. brother. Great awesome. Stuff.